In ESMO 2021, we've heard about two important studies for patients with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer with different ABC compounds. DESTINY 03 trial, testing the efficacy and safety of trastuzumab deruxtecan, and the TULIP trial, testing safety and efficacy of SIP 985. We've heard at ESMO 2021 the results of the DESTINY 03 trial that uh, I think that will change the paradigm of patients with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. This trial recruited 524 patients previously treated with pertuzumab and atsaxan and were randomized to receive uh, trastuzumab deruxtecan versus um, TDM1. Uh, patients uh, included in the trial um, with brain metastasis were allowed, if stable, and represent around uh, 20% of the population. 50% of the patients, more or less, received only this line of therapy that was permitted, and the rest of the patient received more lines of therapy. And around 60% of the patient received all supertuzumab. So this means that uh, our patients uh, treated appropriately in 2021. Uh, the primary endpoint of the trial was uh, an investigator assessed progression-free survival and the results, um, it has just been incredible. Uh, the progression-free survival for the um, tr patients treated with trastuzumab, the ruxtecan, were not yet reached, and the progression-free survival for patients treated with TDM1 was 6.8 months. The hazard ratio for that difference was 0.28, with a p-value very highly statistically significant. I think that this efficacy, it's just amazing. Um, the results uh, of progression-free survival assessed by investigator was um, more or less the same. The results presented in other um, secondary endpoints was also very good with an overall response rate about 80% for patients treated with trastuzumab deruxtecan and the survival um, data, it's not yet enough mature, but the, the benefit is there, uh, but not yet statistically significant. The other important issue for this trial is the toxicity that I think um, it's been also important for the previous data that we have with this compound. We learned from this trial that the most common um, toxicity is the GI toxicity um, and fatigue and the most uh, potentially um, serious adverse event, that is the pneumonitis, ILD, I think it's been very reassuring for the medical community as only 10.5% of the patients had uh, ILD pneumonitis adverse event. Um, most of them grade one or two, only 0.8% of patients with grade three and no grade four and five. So as a conclusion, I think that the results of the DESTINY 03 trial presented at TESMO this year, 2021, will change the clinical practice uh, in the second line for our patients with metastatic um, HER2 positive breast cancer. At ESMO 2021, we presented the results of the phase three trial uh, TULIP. In this trial, we compared um, the efficacy and safety results of SIT-985 um, with um, treatment physician's choice treatment. SIT-985, it's an ADC um, using uh, chemotherapy, uh, a duocarmicin, a DNA damage agent linked to trastuzumab. The uh, standard of care arm allowed uh, patients to be treated with lapatinib capsaitabin, capsaitabin plus trastuzumab, uh, trastuzumab plus vinorelvin. In that case, the patients uh, were included in the trial 437, and uh, patient population included here was patients with HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer treated with at least two previous lines in the metastatic setting or TDM1 in that setting. 13% of the patients included in the trial had brain metastasis um, stable or treated uh, at least eight weeks before entering the trial. And regarding the previous treatments that patient received, 
more than 85% of the population included in the trial received trastuzumab and CDM1, and around 60% received also pertuzumab. Interestingly, some patients included in the trial also received new emerging therapies in the HER2 field as trastuzumab deruxtecan, margetuximab, or tucatinib. The primary efficacy endpoint of the trial was progression-free survival centrally reviewed, and the trial was positive, showing an increase in median progression-free survival from 4.9 months to 7 months with a hazard ratio statistically significant of 0.64. This uh, centrally review progression-free survival was also very similar when assessed by investigators and other secondary endpoints reported in the trial were overall survival, no statistically significant differences uh, at this time point, and overall response rate that was around 30% in this specific population. Regarding toxicity of this compound, it's uh, worth to mention that the most common toxicity is the ocular toxicity that appears in around 78% of patients, in 21% of them uh, grade 3 or higher. And this is a toxicity that needs to be monitored and appropriately treated. Regarding ILD pneumonitis, uh, about 7.6% of the patients also presented um, this kind of adverse events. And in the trial, two uh, grade five um, events were related with this cause. So again, uh, with uh, this ADC, we should also uh, prevent and treat appropriately this uh, adverse event. As a conclusion for the TULIP trial, um, the company uh, will uh, ask for an approval of this drug uh, very soon. And I think that this may be an other uh, option for patients with metastatic breast cancer, um, HER2 positive that already received two lines of therapy or TDM1 in the metastatic setting. Mm -hmm.